technical interactions um, for the great or the yeah the great wave for the house of Beauty's beautiful business and specifically on for the chamber in Barcelona on Sunday. So Jonathan, you you are a, an architect working with sustainability more to the sorry ex, you explained earlier more you know in terms of the architecture how you work with technology and just tell us a little bit about your background. So I, I, I'm an architect who works with sustainable development and a part of, a strong part of that is ecology. Um, so a lot of my work is, is based around housing and how we can live in an ecologically sustainable way. Uh, but that also allows me to look at technology and think of how we can use technology to interface in a better way with the environments that we inhabit. Nice, very nice. And you said, you mentioned the word recovering architect. <laughs> yes, I'd, I'd worked in architects practices and uh, spent some time in the field in, in places in Cuba or South Africa. Um, but I'm a recovering architect because I, I see architecture as a, a design uh, medium and I don't want to hold that only to architecture. So I do work with the design of technologies or, or products or systems. Um, so I've recovered a little bit from pure architecture and broadened, broadened my horizon. A little Very bit good. Now. Developing architecture. So there's many ways you can describe it. So um, tell us about, you know, what ecological interaction is in, in five words. So ecological interaction is a research study my, I, that I would direct, but it's the study, the theory and the practice of industry uh, where we think of ecology as the driver uh, of our decisions. So looking at how we can reindustrialize uh, in, in a mode of industry that is ecologically based. Nice, okay. And this will be your workshop on Sunday. So, you know, what can people expect to learn from your talk? So I'll, I'll be demonstrating uh, and talking about some of the practices that I've been involved with. Uh, when I think of technology and the natural world, I don't necessarily see a difference. So I'll, I'll be questioning what is technology, questioning what is nature and the environment, but also trying to find new lenses, ways that we can see uh, the ecosystem and habitat that we, we inhabit in a new spectra, through a new way of seeing and hopefully uh, beginning to, to open a dialogue about ways that we might be able to practice the ways that we live in a different way through, through new futures. Yeah. Great, that's a nice, um, you know, summary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, and in terms of, you know, obviously the theme of the event this, year for the House of Beautiful Business is the Great Wave. What, is it, what does it mean to you in terms of the Great Wave going from the now and into the future? I, I see the, the Great Wave as a change of consciousness primarily, a way that we can not only rethink but re-see and be cognizant of new information. And I think that if we are able to listen in a different way, we can conceive of our position and the natural world in a different way. And I think the great wave is the coming of new cognizance uh, for us, uh, but also hopefully a, a, a new symbiosis uh, with the ecologies that we inhabit. Um, and I think that that is coming as a wave. I think it's fast and, and powerful and we just have to ride it we just have to ride it exactly and why are you excited to be part of the house of beautiful business 
Well, I think, I think the House of Beautiful Business is a collection of like-minded thinking individuals who can open discussion. And the discourse between these people who see beautiful business uh, and wonder what that is, uh, I think is the beauty. So I'm, I'm excited to be a part of this community of, of thinkers uh, and doers, because I, th I think being busy and our busyness uh, is, is something that we really, really have to, to, to do and practice. Uh, so I'm excited to be a part of these people who, who make change happen. Exactly. Thinkers, doers and makers. And what does collaboration mean to you versus competition? Well, I think it's, uh, in some ways, it's a bit of a tricky one because there's a, there's a definitely a linguistic term to this. In some ways, perhaps there may be no difference. But I think when we think of comp com uh, competition, we pit ourselves against each other and somebody has to win. But I think when we, when we agree to collaborate and we agree uh, to listen, to share and to have a discourse, uh, we have an extra added value. And I think that that's where collaboration can sometimes compete against competition and maybe we have a better a better choice when we begin to collaborate together very nice so it's all about the discourse this the discord i think i think co competition and collaboration are, are semantic things but if we if we're taking collaboration as the way to work together well two minds are always better than one great um, so that's an added value Great, Jonathan. Well, thank you very much. And we very much look forward to seeing you in the house and the local chamber of Barcelona for the uh, great wave um, side of um, the House of Beautiful Business. And thank you very much. Thank you for having me. I look forward to it.